can put a harness so it's ready. <laughs> Done yet? Be cautious. Be cautious. Oh. There is, of course, a lot of you know fly-by-night operators trying to profit from it, either um, with a profit motive, you know, purely that, or it could just be that because there is such high demand, they are not having their guests served properly according to their own wishes, and they think, hey, maybe if we get our own dogs in, we can do it. Now, depending on how that is done it can be a good or a bad thing. If people are just breeding dogs willy-nilly, trying to get more in, that is, um, that's unethical. That should not be done that way because at some point in time, this bubble will burst and then you're on the hook for the lives of these dogs because a dog is not for just now. Hitcho, come on, come on, come on. Come, come. Hitcho, Dasi. Yeah. Yep. This is Nyala, named after, she's from the animals litter, so there's Dasi, Kudu, Nyala, Mamba, and uh, then we have tribes. My worries are that if people have not taken this planning up ahead, that they have not planned for what happens after the boom, is that they're going to end up having dogs left over, spare, that haven't got gainful employment and are being a drag on their finances. And I fear the worst for the lives of some of those dogs. I hope that... Um, it's not so, and it is getting less and less so. So luckily, this attitude is dying out, but it's not dead yet. I think that if you are working with animals, it doesn't specifically mean huskies, but if you're working with animals, it is the most important thing to do. People pay you their money in the expectation that you take your, your duty of care for the dogs seriously. So it is literally the most important thing to do. Your premises need to be clean, organized. Your employees need to be well trained. Everything needs to be, you have to be better than what people expect, literally. So what would work for a pet dog is not good enough here. So you don't have to be worried about that, but you can balance this with your body weight. We are never, never, ever, ever, never, never, ever. Yes. <laughs> Finally, you have your holiday. Yes. <laughs> It is very important if we think about Lapland, about Lapland's destination, uh, it is uh, we associate it to animals, reindeer, huskies. It's actually part of the brand or brand elements of the destination. Uh, it is uh, one of the reasons why many people come to, to Lapland. Uh, in one research we did, so like, uh, we, could found, we could find that uh, something like 60% of the people were saying that it was uh, one of the main reasons for coming to Lapland to experience this kind of encounter with animals, with the uh, huskies, reindeer.
short rides uh, for the uh, for the animals is kind of not stimulated if they are running around the same place many times. So uh, so the huskies they are uh, so the uh, animals in general they need to count this uh, stimulus and so in a longer ride maybe they they have more of this possibility that have being in, inside a fence and running around.